Well, here we are. Greetings, graduands, and to your family and friends who might be watching this too. Well, this is weird. A graduation without graduates feels like swimming in just your socks. You can do it, but it just feels weird. Now, I've always been very aware that all graduates have faced their own personal challenges to reach their admirable goal of graduating. Financial worries, health issues, bereavement, and for some, looking after children or relatives. You, the class of 2020, have had all those, and in addition, the anxieties caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. So your achievement is particularly impressive. So very, very well done, class of 2020. You've done us and yourselves very proud. Traditionally, at a Sussex graduation ceremony, after the, the fun and the noise and the rock and roll ceremony, the, the chancellor is supposed to offer up some closing wise words. Wisdom is a gift I'm yet to receive, but, uh, well, here are a few thoughts anyway. As human beings, we all have contained within us the full range of emotions. But in challenging times such as these, many naturally find that the feelings of worry, fear and dread come to the forefront of our minds. And those other feelings we do have, such as optimism, creativity, hope and happiness, fade into the background. I found it useful to remind myself that those positive states are still within me, but with a much quieter voice. I try and make a conscious effort to amplify that voice so I can hear it more clearly, to then make it loud enough to dispel any idea that all I have become is a vendor of negative thoughts. As someone much smarter than me, and to be honest, that could be a lot of people, as most people are smarter than me, suggested that a, a healthy state of mind is to feel lucky. Not in any way that you have to prove to anyone else, but just within you, the deep core private you, to feel lucky. You can interpret your luck in any way you choose, where you live, your family, your friends, your experiences. Even just one moment in your life can make you feel that sense of good fortune. And once you've identified that, you can go to it whenever you need to, and it can become a beacon in the gloom. The most impressive people I've ever met have all managed one thing. In whatever their circumstances, from good to difficult, they've always kept kindness and compassion as the first step in all that they express. Anne Frank, aged just 13, in her diary of a young girl wrote, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Compassion improves you as a person and undoubtedly improves the world around you. Ripples of happiness from a pebble of humanity dropped into a pond of uncertainty. So hear your positive traits. Believe in them. Hold near your moments of luck and repeat your expressions of kindness until all of it isn't an effort at all, but simply who you are. You've already started with this, your incredible achievement of graduating. I really hope we get a chance to meet at a future ceremony where we can lose the socks and swim like dolphins. Dolphins without socks, just as nature intended. Actually, that sounds even weirder, so scrap that. I wish you love, good health and good fortune. Till we meet in person, you're awesome.